Hey guys, Katie here, and today I am taking a note out of Sabrina from Unmanaged Mischief's book, and I am doing the booktube newbie tag, but kind of using it to talk about where I've been going with my channel, where I plan to go with my channel. She called it booktube reflections. I think I think that's a pretty good one. Actually, when I started booktube, the booktube newbie tag was already a thing. It wasn't that long ago. It was like eight months ago. By the time I found it, I felt like I wasn't really a newbie anymore, so I didn't do it, which is great because now I can do it. And I thought it might be interesting, so we'll see what happens. The first question is, why did you start this channel? I've been watching booktube for a while and it seemed like a great place to be in terms of YouTube communities. I've been watching YouTube for so long. In fact, one of the first people things that I watched on YouTube was back when John and Hank Green had their initial Vlogbrothers project. That and like Lonely Girl 15, which was actually like a scripted show in the end, which pff, kind of blew my mind. That's why I started it. And maybe here I can talk a little bit about why I've kept up with it. I've definitely had moments in the past eight months where I felt a little bit hesitant to continue, whether I was feeling down because of a, a comment or like lack of views or subscribers or you know feeling insecurities in relation to other people let's face it we all have those issues a lot of the reasons why I kept going are mostly because I made so many friends on booktube and some of them I talk to every single day and it's just it's really fun making friends really helped and I think that's one of the most valuable things that you get out of booktube the next question is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I feel like this is the ultimate question for every booktuber. I know that a lot of us feel a little bit insecure about our content, about posting our opinions, things like that are really scary. It's not easy to pinpoint exactly what I bring to booktube, but I do feel like for me, the things about me that I generally bring to the table in any kind of social situation. I'm a really positive person. I really care about what I'm doing and I work hard. And I really have been trying to do different things, which honestly, because of all the things that have been going on in my life in the past couple of months, it's been really, really hard to get those things going. But I do have plans and I do have thoughts and I am really trying hard to mix things up a bit so that you're not just watching like hauls, TBRs and whatnot, on my channel at least. Question number three is what are you most excited for about this channel? Honestly when I started I really just wanted to make videos, I, I like filming, I like editing, so all these things appeal to me and also I just wanted to read more and booktube definitely did that for me. But now as I'm looking forward you know I'm more interested in all the other things that happen when you have a YouTube channel. I'm getting to know people, you know, in comments, around booktube, whatever. Just generally like interacting and just seeing what new things might come out of not only my channel but other channels on booktube because we're kind of at this point where I feel like we could do some new and different things and I think it could be really exciting. I think there's a lot of value in our community and I am really interested to see where it goes. Uh, it's just so rapidly growing at this point that it's hard to keep up. I mean, there are so many people that I probably should be watching that I'm not. And uh, I barely can watch the people that I do follow. It's a great community and I think that we are going somewhere new and different and it could be awesome. Question number four, why do you love reading? Um, I'm going to sort of answer this with the next question, which is what book or book series got you into reading? I, I have your pretty standard story about my reading history. You know, I was a kid up at midnight under the blankets with a flashlight in a Nutrigrain bar. That was my thing as a kid. I was reading books as much as I could. And I think that it's always been sort of an escape for me. Even now, anxiety aside, it's nice to just get completely absorbed in a book and be someplace else. Something new that I really enjoy about reading at this point um, has a lot to do with the fact that I have an English degree. When I was in college for my English lit degree, I did not take notes in my books. 
you know, I didn't highlight, I didn't annotate, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's just not how I read. I think I missed out on a lot of opportunities that way. I have been doing that with uh, Howard's End, which I've been working on for a while now, and I just, I'm getting so much more out of it by taking the time to, you know, highlight things that seem important to me, you know, marking the pages, and so I, I'm starting to love that about reading. The next question is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? Like Sabrina, I have a ton of favorites, and it would be really hard to pinpoint which one was my exact favorite, or a few. That would be really difficult because there are just so many people that are awesome around here. But I'm always, I'm always curious about how other booktubers film their videos, how they think of ideas, you know, do they script their videos? This is my thing with my camera because I have a Canon 60D and it's really nice, but I have the kit lens because some people's videos look really nice, nicer than mine, and I, I mean, I know that mine, like the quality that this camera uh, puts out is amazing, pretty, pretty good actually, especially in the right lighting situation. But, uh, you know, things like that. Last question, what challenges do you think uh, starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome. I feel like this is the most retrospective answer I'm gonna give. When I started, I was really nervous and I was worried that people weren't gonna watch my channel. And for a while, I really watched my subscriber count. It was really intimidating and disheartening when it would stop, but uh, something that I learned is there's no rhyme or reason to your subs. You will get them, you won't get them. I went through a period recently where I didn't get any for weeks and um, I thought it was because I wasn't posting a lot of videos, but I actually posted six videos last month, so whatever. I mean, I have no idea why that happens. And there's a lot of concern that I think a lot of people feel, especially starting out in booktube, as to whether or not your opinion on a book is worth, you know, putting out there. And it took me a while to realize that whatever I had to say, it was my opinion. So it was worth saying, it was worth filming. And I know that that worries people even now because there are some books that a lot of people have read. And then there are classics, which have been just like rehashed over years and years and years. And it's hard to have a unique opinion about those, but it doesn't matter because what I find is that there are people who comment and specifically say, hearing what you thought about this book, even though it's a classic, even though it's been reviewed a hundred times, you know? People who watch you will want to see and hear what you thought of a book, and so it's worth posting reviews or just discussions or whatever, like, people want to see that. And that took me a long time to figure out. I was really shy at first. I have a pretty bad memory, so it's been a real struggle at times to film book reviews and actually say things about the book besides really generalized statements. Taking notes and highlighting in Howard's End has really helped because I think when I'm done I'll be able to say I remember that now because I highlighted it and then I read it again. So I think those were the two biggest hurdles. Worrying about stats. Bleh. And worrying about my opinion. It took me a while to get over those until one day I realized you definitely can't change your statistics, you can't change the number of people who subscribe. And to be honest, if you're putting out consistent videos, you're gonna get subscribers. Yeah, it's not that scary. It's really not. I think those are some things that are relevant right now in um, our community. It's been a pretty crazy eight months and it's been amazing and I'm so happy to be here. Really, really happy, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this off with a note for newbies, people who want to start channels. Just do it. Don't worry about anything. Just get on and talk about something that you care about. Um, if it's a book or whatever, just get started, and you, you'll find a place. If you keep going and you interact with people. You will find an audience and you will find friends in booktube to interact with and it'll be great. I don't know. I don't know how reflective that was, but that was, yeah, those were my thoughts. I hope you like this video. Um, I definitely recommend Serena's video. She talked about a lot more things that I feel like were way more 
like introspective and retrospective so she's awesome check out her video and do this if you want to do it if you're new or if you're not new it's fun and um yeah i will see you guys later so goodbye